I love lithophanes and color lithophanes are my absolute favorite. Today I'm going to show you how to take this and turn it into color super easy on your Bamboo Lab printer. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So like I said, I absolutely love lithophanes in general, but I really love making color lithophanes. And with the Bamboo Lab printers and the AMS, you can do this easier than it's ever been. It literally takes the Bamboo Lab CMYK kit and a few minutes of time to come out with just some amazing colored lithophanes like this one right here. It's crazy easy to do and I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to do it right now. First thing we're gonna do is head on over to lithophanemakers.com. There is a link in the description below to take you right to the color lithophane page, but just note that this can do all sorts of crazy lithophanes if you want it to. We're gonna stick with the color ones today, so head over to lithophanemakers.com, then you wanna choose the button to upload the picture that you're gonna be making today. Now you can size it to pretty much any size you want, but today we're actually gonna make it the size that fits in the Bamboo Lab frame that they have the free files for online. So what we're gonna do is jump in and crop the lithophane. In the top left, you wanna check that little box to crop it. And then what we wanna do is choose the size of 144 width and 108 height. Also, you need to set the first layer to 0.15. And from there, you can use the X and Y shift adjustments to move the crop box around and choose the part of the picture that you wanna crop in on. It's super easy to do. Uh, once you do it once, you'll know how to do it very quickly. Right below that, we want to make sure that if we are using the Bamboo Lab CMYK kit, we use the number one default option uh, for the colors of the lithophane. So just leave it right there. As long as it's on number one default, you're good to go. Then you want to plug in your email address on the left side. Once you do that, you can hit the show expected image button and that will show you about what the image is gonna look like. It's not exact, but it's a pretty good replica of what it's gonna print. From there, you wanna hit the create STL file on the left side and that will download the zip file with all the files needed to do this project. Once the file unzips, and it usually doesn't take that long, we wanna extract it. On a Windows machine, we'll do that by right clicking and choose the extract button. On a Mac, you should, I believe you right click it and extract it as well or unzip it. And inside that folder, we're gonna see five, yes, five different STLs and then one text file. This is the point where you wanna open your bamboo slicer or in my case, I'm gonna use Orca slicer because I pretty much swapped over to that now. And you wanna just take these five files, the five color files, not the text one, and drag them right in to your bamboo studio or Orca slicer. It's gonna pop up and ask you if you wanna import these all as one object and you wanna choose yes to this option. Now we need to make sure that all four of your CMYK colors are loaded in the AMS of the Bamboo Lab printer. Don't forget, there is a link in the description below if you wanna pick up the filaments and the other stuff we show in the video as well. When you have your filaments loaded in the AMS, as long as it recognizes them, you're good. To make sure it's gonna recognize them, you wanna go over to the device tab in your slicer, whether it's Bamboo Lab or Orca, choose the printer that you're gonna be printing with. In my case, it's Morpheus. And on the right side, you should see all four of the colors and what slots of the AMS they're in. As long as you see that and they're correct, you're good to go to the prepare tab. If not, you wanna go and edit each of those colors and make sure that they're the correct ones in the AMS. You can actually resync it because they do have the little infrared tags on them that will read the filament when you load it. Then you wanna go back to the prepare tab and to the left of the printer that you're choosing, there's this little button here. You wanna click that and it will sync your AMS colors with this prepare tab. It might ask you to resync or sync. Just click the resync button or sync button, whatever it shows you. And now it'll show all four colors right in the prepare tab. As far as settings go, I'm gonna be using a 0.2 nozzle because that gives us the best results. You can use the 0.4 nozzle, just use a very small like 0.08 layer height. But in my case, we're gonna use a 0.2 nozzle. Then we're gonna go down and select the first layer height and change that to 0.15. Then we're gonna go over to the strength tab and make sure that our top and our bottom layers are set to three each. Then we wanna change our infill to 100% and it'll throw this warning saying, hey, warning, if we do that, it has to go to rectilinear and that is perfectly fine. Just hit okay and we're gonna keep moving. Now, I like to use my cool plate when it comes to lithophanes because I like to have that smooth back on the bottom, but you wanna make sure you jump up to the top of the printer and choose your plate. So if you're using the textured PEI, that's totally okay. Just make sure it's chosen. Uh, in my case, we're gonna use the cool plate. 
Now what we need to do is click that objects tab and that will show us a list of the parts that we can color. And we just need to make sure we assign the right color to the right part. So you will see two whites. So make sure they are both white and make sure that you just go through and choose each layer to the color that matches the AMS slot you put that color in. Oh yeah, and it actually says the name of the color right in the file. So if it's a cyan or yellow or white, all you need to do is click on the part number and with your keypad or your number pad, press the number one through four that corresponds with the right color that are loaded in your AMS, one through four going right to left. Once we have all the parts colored correctly, all you have to do is hit that slice button. Once it's sliced, now it's the most exciting part. It's time to print the file. All you have to do now is shoot it over to your printer. Like I said, in my case, we're gonna use Morpheus. So it's time to send it over and let's see this bad boy print. And just like that, when it's done, it looks like, like this, like a regular old lithophane. If you turn it a little bit, you can kind of see the color. From the back, you can see a whole bunch of colors as well. But this thing turns out so awesome. And when the magic happens is when you actually take it and you put light behind it. So it just lights these things up so good. You can see all the scenes, the different colored lightsabers. And this was a free wallpaper on Google, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, but, but this is so cool. I love how it looks and it just makes these things come alive. I love all the different colors you get with that CMYK kit. And from there, you can actually print the frame if you want. And this is a free print and a free model from Bamboo Lab as well. And the link is in the description below, but it looks like a picture frame. And on the back, it has this uh, like picture frame thing here and everything just kind of slides into it. Let's check that out now. So I just talked about the frame, but we need to check that out because they actually have a pretty cool little setup where they actually sent me this LED USB-C light panel. This light panel is pretty dang awesome and it all fits into the frame. And you can print these frames in pretty much any color you want as long as you have that filament. So uh, it's cool because all you do is take your frame here and you take the light panel, which is now available on the Bamboo Lab website individually. You can buy these individually. I think they're $9.99. Uh, they have just a ton of LEDs on them. And as you've seen earlier, it looks really cool all lit up in the frame. But basically you take your uh, LED panel, you slide it into the back of the frame. So here's the back and it slots in like that. And there's a little piece right here for your USB-C to stick out. So that slides in like that. Now we have our LED panel in. You print a diffuser, which is this piece right here in white. They also have the model for that free. And it's all in the Bamboo Lab link below. Uh, the frame, the diffuser, and in another link, you'll see the panel for the lights. But you check your diffuser and you push that in right there. So it all slides into the bottom here into slots. Now we have what looks like basically a frame with a white background. Then you can take any one of the lithophanes you just created and pop that in right in the front. Oops, I'm upside down. There we go. So then you can take any of the lithophanes you just created and pop them in right in the front. And they're super easy to take out and put other ones in if you just want to rotate them, if you want to try new ones. But that's what it looks like there. Then we can take our USB-C cable. I have this quick power bank to, to show you what it looks like. We plug that in the back and boom, we got light. Uh, let me show you what that looks like a little closer. And now you have the full scene in a really cool frame. God, I love how those lightsabers pop and the stars and, and all the faces. It's so cool to see that. So that is the frame in a nutshell and you can use uh, just a quick wall plug with the USB-C cable and these can set anywhere. I love how this looks. Again, there's links in the description below uh, for the actual instructions on how to do this while you're following along. That'll give you the frame, the diffuser, and that, and also the link for the LED panel that they do sell now for $9.99, which is an awesome deal for this. Overall, I love color lithophanes. I have loved them ever since I saw my very first ones at Murph 2019, when Jason Proust brought them there and he is the color lithophane master. So if you haven't checked out his work, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below too for his stuff. And now you can make them so fast and easy with the Bamboo Lab printer, with the AMS and their CMYK kit. 
Also, like I said earlier, don't forget, you can use lithophanemakers.com to make all sorts of really cool lithophanes. They don't all have to be color. I'm talking everything from regular old flat lithophanes to round lampshades. It is, it's off the wall. So check out lithophanemakers.com and let's see all the cool stuff you do. And tag me below if you use lithophanemakers.com and how you liked it. I'm just gonna swap this out to the Hogwarts one, but smash that like button if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done that. I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers and every single one of you guys matters. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out that video right there.